Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, yeah, so you folks, I'm glad to be doing series videos I've been for a while. I go over there, try food and drink items, stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm gonna talk about stuff. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit under the weather. <laughs> so if I'm not quite as high energy or, you know, if I'm a little bit, mm, my forgiveness. Uh, but we'll get into that. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. Yeah, we around about it for a little while. Uh, like I said, maybe not quite as exuberantly as I would normally do so. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to put it out there, okay? I'm still going to give it, you know, the effort I can. Uh, whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm inside my truck, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing? Well, I've worn this one before. Boom! It's my Static X shirt. Specifically, my, my Evil Disco Man Terminator Oscillator shirt. I love this shirt. And, and I love, like, well, I love the shirt anyway. But I love the fact that it's got the association with the song Terminator Oscillator. Um, I love that song. It's like probably my favorite song off the Project Regeneration album. If you've never seen the music video for it, it's a bunch of fun. Uh, I actually have a video of it perform them performing it live on this very channel, just in case you're interested. But anyway, yes indeed, folks. Yeah, I'm a little bit under the weather, like I said. Uh, past few days, I've just been feeling kind of crummy. I finally went out, got myself checked out and everything. Nothing serious, just a bug, you know. But... Uh, while I was thinking about bugs, well, it got me thinking about something that eats bugs. What does that have to do with what I'm going over there and I'm reviewing today? Well, it's, boom, it's, it's a Whopper. It's from Burger King. But specifically, folks, it's the boom into the Spider-Verse Whopper. And a big old thing of lettuce just fell. <laughs> it's all right. Yes, indeed, folks. And here comes the reveal because this is the only real main reason why you would buy this thing. Ah, oh, look at it, it's red. So yeah, um, it's red. The bun is red. Burger King has been doing this stuff for a few years now, where every now and again they'll come out like a specialty Whopper that has like a colored bun. Uh, I think the original one was the Halloween Whopper where it was all black and had kind of like a, uh, I forget, it was like, I think it had like an A1, like a steak sauce kind of flavor to the bun. Then they came out the Angriest Whopper, which had a red one. Then they had, like, the Nightmare Whopper, which was green. Uh, I think last year we had the Ghost Pepper one where they went with orange. And then for this one, with the Spider-Man tie-in, it is red. Now, I forgot to mention to them that I didn't want onions and pickles. Because I'm not a big onions and pickles guy, especially not on a Whopper. But, for sake of the review, because, you know, some of you might enjoy that stuff... I'm going to give the first bite with the, the onions and the uh, pickles, and then I'm most likely going to remove them. So, here we go, folks. Like eating Spider-Man himself. I'll give it this. With everything going on, neither the pickle nor the onion are hugely abrasive. Like, they have so much to contend with that it's just like, well, they're there. They're not horrendous, but they're also not what I really would want. So, we are going to still remove them. But, I mean, I'll give them credit. Like I said, like, the fact that the onion and the, the pickle aren't abrasively awful for me. That says something. Unless they're just using some really weak-ass uh, onions and pickles. Which is possible. Alright, let's try to get one. I mean... Tastes like a Whopper. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if there's really supposed to be like a flavor gimmick for it, or if it really is just 
the coloring. If there's something there, I'm not getting much. Um, bun! Yeah, that to me just tastes like a plain old bun. Um, from Burger King. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's something going on, man, I'm, I'm not getting it. I mean, it's okay. It's a Whopper. Like, I enjoy a Whopper every now and again. Um, they're messy and good. <laughs> but, like I said, I think with this one, to me, it really just seems like it's more, more just a gimmick, uh, versus it really being anything particularly spectacular, as it were. It's it's fine. It's a Whopper. It tastes like Whopper. If you've never had a Whopper, I would give Whoppers credit in saying that they're probably one of the better uh, fast food burgers out there. I, the thing is, for me. It's kind of interesting that they made, you know, like they made it a Whopper, which, you know, okay, it's like, yeah, again, whenever they do these colored bun things, they make it a Whopper. That's their signature burger. Thing is, though, I would have maybe gone over there and had it as like a junior Whopper to go over there and kind of like gear it more towards kids. Like a full Whopper might be a bit much for like, you know, a younger audience, which granted, Spider-Man has a very wide ranging audience. I enjoy Spider-Man, you know, so I mean... But I think it would have been a bit smarter, you know, maybe to have gone over there. At the very least, have it available both as a junior and as a full thing. Because then I think, like I said, you know, it would have been something where you could have gone over there and geared it towards, you know, the younger kids. Not saying that that's what you should do from a marketing standpoint or whatever, you know, healthiness and all that stuff. I'm just saying from a marketing standpoint, you know, there you go. But overall, I mean, it's fine. It's messy. It's got a lot of flavors going on. Like I said, I didn't even mind it so much with the um, the lettuce and the pickles, just because there's a lot there, and the frame, the flame broiled, you know, taste of the Whopper it stands out, and it, it's you know, I don't go to Burger King a lot, although I might go a little bit more because I've bitched about my Burger King in the past in some of my videos, like the Ghost Pepper Whopper video. I know I did. They definitely got some new people in there, because this was the fastest I've ever been served at the Burger King near my house. Today was basically the first time, I think, since the Ghost Pepper Whopper, where I was like, I'm gonna give them a shot again. I really didn't want to drive out of my way to go to the other one. But they they nailed it, and I'm, you know. So, but yeah, I mean, in terms of like what you could take away from the, the Into the Spider-Verse Whopper, it's a Whopper. It just so happens to be red. <laughs> Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No, and not really. I mean, here's the thing. It's not bad. If you like a Whopper, it's perfectly fine. Is it doing anything more than that? Not that I can personally detect. If you want a Whopper, just get a Whopper. If you want it for the novelty, that's fine. But, like, at the end of the day, you are eating it. So, you know, it's not like you're going to save it as, like, a memento. I mean, you could if you want to, but... Ugh. But, yeah, so for me, like, I wouldn't get it again. i just just get a normal Whopper. And for, you know, for other folks... I mean, it's a little bit of fun. There's no harm in it. It's just, like like I said, unlike the other ones that they've had in the past, this one doesn't seem to be doing anything special. And, uh, you know, it's a fun little tie-in, but not one that I see it much use in. That's just me. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money, money, rest of month. Stupendous rest of your Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly spider-man tastic rest of your life because folks spider-man's been just kicking ass for years and years and decades okay he's just one of the tentpole characters of marvel you know lots of great characters have been you know come up through his books and yeah i just i like spider-man it's not my favorite marvel superhero but i, I like him final two things number one try to bring some positivity in the world it's not always possible it is however always appreciated but 
Well, you do, can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when we're over here. We got whoppers that are all like, we're red and shit. And it's like, okay, but are you doing anything else? It's like, not really. It's a little bit of a letdown. I'm not going to lie. It's part when we find ourselves in stressful situations, disappointing situations, etc. Go over there. We take a step back. We try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing, whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to try yourself out uh, into the Spireverse Whopper, or whatever the hell it's called, as I've done here today. And maybe like me, you're going to be a little bit underwhelmed, you know, because it's just, it just is what it is. But then maybe you go over there, maybe you happen to know some of the, the higher ups at Burger King, you're like, look, if we're going to do this, let's do it properly. Let's come out with an entire Avengers line of Whoppers, okay? We're going to go over there, we're going to do a blue one for Captain America, green one for the Hulk, red one for Iron Man, uh, blah, 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 blah. purple one, I guess, for Hawkeye, maybe a black one for Scarlet Witch, you know, the, you know, we got to get Thor in there, too. What, what the hell would Thor be? Like, maybe, like, a light blue or something, like, for lightning, or maybe yellow? <laughs> I don't know, but basically, I want to have an entire burger, you know, line that I can have together and post with a picture and be like, Avengers Assemble. Or conversely, maybe don't do that, because that would be a lot. That would, like, to have the entire thing, like, unless you have multiple people buying it with you. That would be a lot. Maybe just go get a fucking Whopper if you want a Whopper. They're pretty good. Bye.